A feature of the Lemur half pad that's often missed is the slit underneath the front rod edge, which is designed to take the D-ring off a plain square. The D-ring simply feeds through the slit, pulls through, and then is ready then to attach to the D-ring of a saddle. Having passed the D-ring through the slit in the half pad, fold the end and put it through the actual D-ring itself off the saddle and then fold the end back and Velcro it into position. This enables the pad to be held off the wither, relieving any pressure and also keeping the half pad and the square as a unit. When using a half pad in combination with a plain square, you'll often find that the half pad will overshoot the back edge of the square. This is not uncommon. The main weight bearing line from the saddle will fall halfway between the back edge of the saddle and the back edge of the pad. So really the crucial area for the horse to have the padding is halfway through this area here. So don't be worried if you do get an overshoot behind. To have the pad that long would enable it to be sitting almost on the horse's hips.